free traps that are not irrational anomalies. They're inevitable, naturally occurring phenomenon that have to be understood and attacked head on if a corporation is able to forget the past. And they are the complacency trap, the cannibalization trap, and the competency trap. If you could go into a little more detail on those or possibly even identify the one that is the most difficult to overcome. I think all the three are equally difficult. Complacency trap is simply you are succeeding so much in your box one, you feel, I don't have any urgency to change. This is what my grandfather was teaching me. Once you win the gold medal amongst 25,000 students, you feel you've achieved the highest because there is nothing beyond gold medals. There is no platinum medal. So therefore, you feel you are on top of the world. Whereas what my grandfather was telling me, no, there is a possibility gap. You're missing. That is what complacency is. If you feel comfortable with winning gold medal, then you don't try harder. Competency trap is the more you succeed in box one, your human resource organization builds talent to make you perform even better in box one. That is the competency. You build competencies which will make you better in today's business. Your human resource people are not recruiting talent to make you a leader in the future. Cannibalization trap simply is you're afraid the new business model you have to create, the self-driving cars in the case of General Motors, will eat into the sales revenue of the gasoline-powered cars or electric vehicles. If you create them, you are not going to generate the same service revenue that you're able to create in a gasoline-powered car because in a gasoline-powered car, you need to change mufflers. You need to change oil. You need to change gas lines. None of that is there in electric vehicles.